Guys, so I'm just going to wait a few minutes, let a few people jump on, and then we'll discuss this, uh, this new term. It's not a new term. Uh, it's a meme that uh, has been picking up some steam. But um, so let's talk about, let's see, who's that? Oh. Um, let's talk about this, this term, Karen. So I'm on Hip Hendersonville, and Hip Hendersonville is a, is a group, is like the city I live in. It's a page on Facebook, and like everybody lives in Hendersonville is on that page, and everybody talks about different areas. All right. So uh, let me explain to you what happened. So I'm on this page, and there is a restaurant. I'm not going to name the restaurant. Hey, Ryan, what's going on? Good morning, Laura. How are you? Hey, Harry, what's going on? Um, so uh, basically, she says, I went to this restaurant. She's going off hardcore. So she's like, I went to this restaurant, and they weren't wearing masks. I'm like, hmm. And then she's like, and they weren't social distancing, and they didn't have the dividers. You mean they didn't completely redesign their restaurant for what craziness is going on in the world? Is that what you're trying to say? She went off. They weren't social distancing. They weren't wearing masks. They're walking and checking on tables, and and they were so uncomfortable they had to get their food to go and take it home. Now, let's talk about this. Now, that's the term Karen. That's a that's an example of a Karen, somebody who complains. Which, trust me, I've been a Karen before. So it's somebody. Yeah, I I admit it. I've been a Karen before. So my wife tries to keep me. Karen isn't a term just for women, by the way. You can be a guy and be a guy who acting like a Karen. Okay. It's someone who complains uh, unnecessarily. Okay. I got to talk to the manager. I got to do this. I got to, and they complain about everything they touch. So when I'm out filming my Jack on the Ghost, um, hold on a second. Need to put somebody in the boys' club. There we go. Um, so if, if I was a Karen, I would be the baddest Karen walking the earth. I love that. <laughs> Jack Payne. So, um, so anyway, uh, if you don't know what a Karen is, some of you may, some of you may not, but basically it's that person who complains uh, unnecessarily. Um, so Tammy kind of said, like, when I'm criticizing restaurants, I have to have her around to keep me from being too critical because she goes, ah, that wasn't so bad. Don't, you know, cut them a break. So, so I have a new rule when I'm filming. If I'm going to say a restaurant's bad, um, I give them first the benefit of the doubt. I could have caught him on a bad day. I could, but when like three bad things happen, it's time to warn you guys that this restaurant overcharged me. This burnt my burger. It did this. It did that. It did that. That's not a Karen. That's just common sense. Things are going wrong. Okay. So Tammy keeps me in line a little bit. She kind of criticized me. Don't be so critical. Don't be so critical. So when I hear that, I know that I've only got one issue to complain about and I don't want to tear down a restaurant over one stupid issue. You know, there wasn't no napkins on the table or something lame. But anyway, um, so I try not to be. Now, regarding people wearing masks in business, this whole issue, uh, let's see. Oh, hey, how are you doing? Uh, is, it, is it Robert Anderson? Anyway, welcome. King Lord, how are you? Um, so basically... Um, I'll talk King Lord. I'll address the chicken video in a minute. But basically, like, like for example, um, you can wear a mask. You can not wear a mask. I respect the mask. And I know where most of you are going to jump. Oh, well, you posted a video of a guy mowing his lawn with a mask on. I wasn't making fun of him. If you guys read what I wrote, which all of you went there and like, oh, you're hurting this guy's feelings and blah, blah, blah. I wasn't attacking the guy. I love the family across the street. But he's not, he doesn't have allergies. Uh, I could understand if he doesn't like mowing the lawn and he gets allergic and it gets in his thing. But this guy has never worn a mask mowing the lawn. So he's wearing a mask for protection. I have to come up with that logically. Sorry for me being logical. But he's wearing a mask to, I don't know, there's not a body within 500 feet. If there's nobody near you and you're in an open field, you don't have to wear a mask. If you're driving in your car all alone, the windows are up. You don't, well, I mean, if you're driving your car alone, you don't need to drive with a mask on. People are complaining. It's hot. 
it cuts oxygen flow. It's not working. It's a that's fine. You can choose to wear the mask if you want to wear the mask. I don't rip a restaurant because nobody's wearing a mask because nobody told us when can we take the masks off and people are wearing it like it's I don't know it's it's a fashion statement now. Uh, they've got logos on them. They've got you know I'll remove this mask for coffee that kind of thing. But um, you know if you want to wear a mask, that's your right. If you have a, a, a condition, a health condition, that's your right. I totally understand. But don't rip a place because they, they're just trying to survive. You have no idea what that business has been through. That's a mom pa restaurant. And I bet they're just trying to survive, keep their head above water. And by you stepping on them, we need mercy. Okay? You're into the mask, show some mercy. So if you're not into the mask, show some mercy. Everybody should have a little mercy in their heart. But you got to cut some people some breaks, okay? But uh, anyway, it's not like they spit on your food and anything, but you don't have to go to that restaurant if you don't want to. Protect yourself, all right? But don't go online. Hey, CJ, what's going on? Good morning. I hope everybody has their coffee. I got my coffee here. So a Karen is somebody who unnecessarily complains. The younger generation has been using that term for a while. My son, I, I get a lot from my son, so I learn what those terms mean. But um, it, it must have happened that a Karen in the world was complaining unnecessarily and somebody did a meme on her. I guarantee that. I noticed my wife wearing a mask in the car every time after we ate at Taco Bell. Mercy is the best. Yes, Gary, mercy is the best. Uh, hey, General Grievous, how are you? So everybody, good morning. Um, I want to talk about a few things. So I surveyed you guys, and I asked you, do you like, what was, what was the survey? Was, do you guys like barbecue, product reviews, healthy keto-type meals, uh, lazy man videos, I, I, and pizza? I asked you like five things. Overwhelmingly, you'll never guess who won. Overwhelmingly, you guys chose lazy man videos, like 54%. Out of a thousand people who surveyed, um, that's crazy. So be looking. So I'm just going to give you guys what you want. Uh, I won't. I won't stop doing my other videos. I won't stop doing playing with your food. I won't stop doing smoking videos. A lot of you like the second one was barbecue, but it wasn't even close. It was like fifteen percent. So we're going to do. It's barbecue season. We're going to stay with barbecue, but I'm going to give you guys more. Let's see. Uh, so um, let's see here. Just trying to re check your question. We all know Karen. Yeah, we all do. Hello from Malaysia. Hello. How are you? Uh, what is that name? Afrul Nazreen. Oh, I know I'm destroying that name. I feel bad. Mike Morton. You are right. Grace and mercy. Great. Now, I all, my whole life, I got the two confused. All right, mercy is not getting what you deserve, and grace is getting something you don't deserve. They're opposites, but they work together like salt and pepper. Um, uh, yes, Lazy Man rocks. I love them. Yes, we have a Lazy Man video on today. It went up yesterday. It's Lazy Man Nashville Hot Chicken, and boy, am I excited about that be because it was a great video. You watch it, and you'll see. Um, I've always had that, that video idea for quite a long time. So anyway, um, yes, more good stuff come in. You've got to review the Titan pan. I love mine. Okay, Mike, does it have a nonstick coating? Because I don't do nonstick coating anymore. I have a rock coating, and I have stainless steel. Uh, I have cast iron, but I don't do anything with a coating on it like that. I have the, the brand new specialty. It doesn't have any of the the concerns with this rock coating. Nothing will stick to it. It's crazy. I'll look into the Titan pan for you and I'll see. Uh, I did that with barbecue sauce. Yeah. Uh, throw some keto recipes in there. I tried your keto ice cream this week and it was fabulous. Thank you. Uh, lazy man. Great. Good morning, Jack. Okay. So today is mainly about you guys. It's not about me. Mainly, um, I'm going to be bouncing back and forth. If you have any questions. Hi, Brian. How are you? I'm hopping over to Facebook really quick. Hey, Will, what's going on? Dylan, what's going on? Uh, thanks for joining me this morning. Uh, if you have any questions and you want it answered live on the show, hop on over to YouTube 
Otherwise, I'll answer, I always answer Facebook questions after the show uh, because I can't be in two places at once. I've got to be at YouTube. I, I have to bounce back and forth. So thank you, everybody, on Facebook for joining me. Thank you, everybody, on YouTube. Always, always a pleasure. And uh, uh, I'm going to try and build on this, the Saturday morning live show. Maybe we'll do some giveaways. Maybe we'll, we'll pick a recipe from one of you guys. You can decide what one of my videos are going to be. Um, uh, let's see. Come on. This virus is the biggest lie of the century. There are times when one must complain, other times let go. Uh, yeah, I understand. I totally get it. I'm not going to sit here and, I mean, there's nothing I can really do. Um, okay. So there is a topic I did want to talk to you guys about. Let me see. I like the rock coating. Cool. Uh, oh, unfortunately, it does have a nonstick. Yeah, I don't do, I'm trying to stay away from those coated because the this, this stuff gets in your food uh, from what I've read. But once again, anything you read. Good morning, David. Anything you read, you can't believe anyway. So who knows? Star Wars Marathon on TNT again. Um, oh, hey, you guys. Disney Plus just brought out uh, Artemis Fowl. That was supposed to go to movie theaters. And they put it on live last night. So it's on your Disney Plus. If you guys subscribe to Disney Plus, um, check it out, okay? Uh, Artemis Fowl. Um, it's funny because there's some movies like uh, Onward is also on Disney Plus. That was a biggie that was in theaters. Uh, there's a lot of movies that are trying to recoup their costs by charging you 20 bucks to watch it. I'm not watching it. Um, another free one that I highly recommend right now is Just Mercy. I know it's a little topical. Uh, I liked it before any of the issues were happening. That movie was great with, with Jamie Foxx. Amazing. I give it top notch. Uh, it's called Just Mercy. Good morning, Brian. Hey, welcome for joining us over here. Uh, yes. So th those are some good things. That Lazy Man's Nashville Hot Chicken looks delicious. It, wor it works. Well, I shouldn't even tell you. You guys don't want to watch. But you got to check it out. Well, you got to watch to see how to do it. It's pretty simple. Um, I forgot the brown sugar. I just added in down below. If any of you are doing the Lazy Man's Hot Chicken, I forgot brown sugar in the recipe. I've added it in. It's now there right now. So if you go underneath the video, i uh, never seen Gone with the Wind. Yeah, okay. So let's talk about the craziness. I, I've always wondered, why was America never never end, end of times, revelation, you know, all that stuff. How come America is never mentioned? I know why. Because we're erasing America. We are tearing down statues. We are removing guns from Elmer Fudd. We are, um, it, we are crazy. We are insane. I mean, pretty soon they're going to remove any, any mention of the Holocaust. And don't tell me the Holocaust didn't happen. But anyway... Um, that you should not, there should be a law that you cannot remove history, good or bad. Because we remove the bad, we next generation, the bad will happen again. I guarantee it. The moment we forget history, the moment we forget about the Holocaust, it'll happen again. I, I mean, you just got to, you just got to understand what's what. They want to change the name of the, the bases, uh, the Fort, Fort uh, Collins, Fort, whatever. They want to tear down statues. They're removing the gun from Elmer Fudd, who hunts rabbits with his rifle. That's that's totally and uh, Yosemite Sam with his guns and um, who's the Mars Marsh no Martin the Martian or whatever and his gun. They're removing it. I'm thinking, what kind of a country are we going to live in? You guys are going to strip everything. We're going to have no history whatsoever. But um, yes, uh, the revisionism. What does revisionism mean? Does that mean the changing or the leaving alone? Because I'm all about leaving it alone. Okay? Pretty soon you can go, well, we're not going to have the, the movie. Like, they won't, like they've won't. Like they removed the Dukes of Hazards. Uh, how long did you live in California? My whole life. I moved here in 2014, so I was born and raised in California. Uh, now FUD has a... <laughs> what is that? A, a Sith? <laughs> That's funny. I'm surprised. Are we going to remove lightsabers too uh, from Star Wars movies? I don't know. We are living through revelations. So anyway, not here to prophesy anything. I'm just concerned for the facts of our country. Um, you know what? Are you going to dig up all the ground in Pennsylvania and remove all the bullet casings? 
I mean, that there's a law that you can't take a bullet casing or an arrowhead because that's history. Well, what's what about the rest of the stuff? Did you label it not history? But anyway, uh, oh, okay, Isabel, you congratulations. I think you're the first girl in the boys' club. So there you go. All right. So anyway, yeah, but basically, removing history, I'm completely against it. I don't. Um, we're removing the statues of people who seceded from the U.S. because they couldn't have black people anymore. What does that have to do with it? it was slavery a real thing? I don't understand. It's it's all. I mean, we're we're splitting hairs. I don't. I mean, we're we're being ridiculous. Don't remove good or bad. Don't care if it represented bad. That's why it's there, so we don't forget about it. So we don't do it again. Leave history alone. Exactly, Anthony. I totally agree with you. Except for tell the truth about the transatlantic. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't know. You guys are all throwing in stuff. I love that. Okay. Hey, it's your time. So if you have any questions, ask me questions now. How should I fix a rusty basket in my air fryer? I would soak it in uh, baking soda and hydrogen peroxide. That's also how you clean cookie sheets to get that, that rusty, you know, that buildup you get on cookie sheets. Soak it and then thoroughly clean it so there's no hydrogen peroxide or baking soda. But the baking soda will work, work on that. It should clean it up and let me know. Or I'd order just a new basket. Go, go to the company and order a new basket. Is Jack Jr. still making music? Um, no, he's working. Like, he's at work right now. I didn't hear him come in last night. He was probably out to like midnight at working at his work. So basically, um, I don't. Uh, hey, Jack, big fan, man. What logic? Thank you. Um, hey, hey, Jack, love your channel. Uh, so Jack Jr. is at work right now. He literally came home late last night, went back in early this morning. He's working like a ton. You guys are slamming him at Chipotle's. It's just going crazy. Uh, let's see. Hey, Jack, love your channel. Keep it up. Greetings from Switzerland. God bless Switzerland. Andy, thank you so much. Uh, Mike Morton, how do I season a pan? All right. You want to season, usually uh, it, it could be a blue carbon steel, could be a cast iron, could be, you can do it with any pan. You can season it, but usually it's for cat like cast iron or carbon steel. The way you, you oil it, you oil the whole thing. Then you put it in your oven at 450 upside down so the oil will drip off the pan and have a cookie sheet underneath to catch any drippings. Okay, so put it upside down over a cookie sheet and just cook it at 450 for about 30 minutes. Let it completely cool. Okay, give it a quick rinse when you're done. All right, then you're going to, the key to, to preserving and not having things rust, like some people have flat iron grills in their backyard, is to oil before and after. Before you cook, use a good cooking Oil the surface, olive oil, could be coconut oil, I don't care. And then before you put it away, you put a, a layer of oil on the pan and put it away in your cupboard. Okay, that's, but seasoning, you have to cook. Uh, I usually will coat it in olive oil and I'll cook it upside down for like a half hour and then re-oil it once it gets to room temperature and you can touch it. Don't burn yourself. Use, Jack, you lived in California for years and don't know what, Concarne means. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'm Italian. I'm even 10% black. I don't know if I, I, I may have mentioned that to you guys before, but I'm not Hispanic. So I don't, I, I took Spanish in high school and failed. So anyway, uh, I love your cooking, Popo, long time subscriber. Thank you so much. I miss hockey. Oh, I, Tammy's folks, I'm going to tell you a secret. They're probably watching right now. Tammy's folks are addicted to the LA Kings. I mean, they're big, huge fans. So like, I'd be like, hey, how you doing? Is it a beautiful day? Hey, the LA Kings won last night. I'm like, that's great. So they love hockey. And that's great. That's, everybody should have something they like. Uh, hey, Jack, how's it going? What are your thoughts on the football season? Do you think the Buccaneers will be a contender? Ah, uh, I wasn't sure with Tom Brady, but since Gronk went over there too, I think they're going to be a contender. I don't think they're going to win it. Not at all. They have so much work to do. You, the whole team can't ride on their shoulders um, because all it takes is one hit and one of the two are out. And But 
they're going in the right direction. Uh, what do I think about the football season? I think we're going to uh, have a good season. And, uh, you know, so the, the Bucks are going to be a contender, yes. Uh, you can, I mean, he's the, he's the GOAT, guys. It's like Michael Jordan's the GOAT. Okay, you got it. Whether you like Tom Brady or you don't like him, he's still the GOAT. He can prove it. He's got the rings to prove it. So certain people, you have to beat them. San Francisco is the team to beat. There you go, Anthony. All right, now we're getting into it here. You guys are obviously craving sports. This is funny. Your 10% soul brother, virtual fist bump. Poof. Absolutely, yeah. So uh, so anyway, cheers from Brussels, Belgium. Will there be people in the stadiums? Yes, there will. Um, and as you guys know, I've been predicting that at some point, we're all going to be able to be in the, virtually. We're all going to be in the stadium. Um, I believe that um, the virtual headsets, we're going to be able to watch the game from the 50-yard line. From the best seat in the house. Imagine everybody sits in one seat. The camera is perfect. The camera, you can choose different camera angles. I mean, it's unstoppable. If we can finally get that going, let us sit front row at concerts. Let us sit front row at ballets. Let us sit front row at theater events. Imagine how much money will be made that I can go I can go to a Broadway show tonight. Could you imagine that? Put your headset on and you're on Broadway. The, uh, I'd love to be your neighbor just to smell the smoke. And if, oh, yeah, I smoke my neighbors out all the time. It's crazy. Uh, this is coming home. This is, oh, I'm sorry. This is coming from a Cara, Carolina fan. They scare me. We're in rebuilding. I don't expect us to do much. What? Oh, somebody's asking about PS5? I'll get to that in one second. Let me talk about Carolina. Jack Jr. is a Cam Newton fan. Jack Jr. is a players fan. He never follows teams. He follows players. So he likes King James. He likes Cam Newton. And when Cam Newton was let go, he was not happy. I hope he lands somewhere good. Um, no, I don't expect Carolina to be anywhere near a contender. Uh, they've been having trouble the past few years. So uh, pray for them. So PS5, I had a question on Facebook about PS5. They literally said we're postponing the release of PS5 because it's not a good time to be releasing it. It's not a happy time. Well, it's not a happy time because PS5 is not out. It's not a happy time because everybody's holding back uh, movie theaters. Hello? Can I have a movie theater? I mean, drive-ins are, are, are happening. They're, they're having to do the concerts in drive-ins. I mean, it's like, hey, how about give us back our movie theaters? So the PS5 is on hold. I don't know any headlines about it. I know it's going to be able to play PS4 games. Um, but I, that's all I know. Uh, let's see. But there will be only VR cameras in the stadium. Uh, but think about it. They can sell ticket after ticket. There's no limit to how many tickets they can sell to an event. If it's a can if it's camera, I mean, if you're there, they got the background, they got cheering, and they got sound effect, the whole thing. I mean, they can have people in the stadium. Some people like to be there, eat their hot dog, and get in a fight after they get drunk. I don't know. But anyway, uh, hey, Jack, I read the lady Annabellum is changing their name, I assume because – Antebellum is the style of house built during the Civil War. You know what? I can't comment on that. I have not heard that. That's the first I've heard that, but that's their choice. It's their ban. Uh, give us back our freedoms. Yes, Jeff. I could care less about overpriced movie theaters. Um, okay, yeah, but I must tell you, uh, is it Commodore Fan 64? I love Commodore 64, by the way. Anyway, I have to tell you this. I don't pay for movie tickets. I, I have the unlimited. It's only $18 a month at my theater. I can, go to, I can go to a movie every night of the week. I mean, every single night. I can watch the same movie 12 times in a row. It doesn't cost me anymore. I pay $18 a month. I go unlimited movies. And I get discounts at the concession stand. I could care less. Oh, I read that. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I just wish they would let individuals make their own decisions. Yes, uh, random sandwich. I agree. I think here's what I want to know. I'm not saying good or bad, but there are people who dictate whether like the Confederate flag, 
my whole life, I never knew the Confederate flag. I thought it was just the South, you know, the Southern, you know, don't tread on me flag, like type of Southern flag. Uh, somebody stated it was racist, okay? Black Lives Matter. Somebody states it's racist. Who's making all these decisions for us? Who is deciding what's good and what's bad? Because uh, as far as I know, I'm over 18. But I mean, uh, where do you get that pass at? Uh, Jeff, talk to your movie theater. AMC has it. Regal Theaters is the one that I have by my house. I have it. Everybody has an unlimited pass now, as far as I know. Edwards has it. Talk to your favorite movie theater and see if they have a plan, okay? I'd rather sit at home than watch in an arena. Yes, I totally get it. I would totally get season tickets to the Titans, and I'd go to every Titan game on Sunday with my VR set. Could you imagine? That would be great, or be or hockey or whatever. Um, trying Voodoo Smokehouse today, thanks to your video. Jeff, have fun with that. And remember that burger is, is an amazing burger. Tammy had it and loved it. And it's like nominated for an award. I'm like, James Beard found you guys in the middle of Lebanon? I don't know how that works. Uh, yeah, you're right. No offense. Uh, though never really wanted Cam Newton to come here to begin with. He had that one good season, but we, we won all those uh, with our defense. I just don't think he fit anymore. All right. By the way, I want to talk about Colin Kaepernick. I always call him. I used to always, I couldn't remember his name. It was like Colin Pumpernickel. That's what he used to say. Uh, that Colin Pumpernickel guy. But anyway, I, he had one good season also. Guys. He had one, you know, he's, he was lucky. He was, you know, now he's like a Ryan Leaf. He, he's not, I mean, as a football player, he's not the, uh, there ain't going to be no rings on his hand. Uh, the last few years he did. Uh, don't you think the term Karen is a bigoted slur word? No. Don't you? Well, I'm not going to go there. But no, I don't think it's a bigoted slur word. I don't know how you came up with that, but. It's just a term, you know, it's, we have slang all the time coming and going. The words I used back in 1985, I cannot use anymore because they're now considered, they've changed. Vocabulary changes. Welcome to America. Everything keeps changing. History keeps changing. It's, all, it's crazy. The founding fathers picked up and left their graves. Um, let's see. Karen isn't a slur in the slightest. You would call someone a Karen in their face without hesitation, but you wouldn't say the N-word or F-word to someone. Yeah, I, you guys have your own discussion on that. But basically, um, it's like, um, what's another word? Let me think. God, there's been so many words. Um, oh, there's some words in songs that mean something that you don't even know. So I could tell you some words, but I can't because the meanings kind of, promiscuous. So I don't want to be spouting those. Good morning, Jack. Good morning, Flying Snoopy. Um, let me see how Facebook's doing. Let's see, Dylan, what's going on? Uh, what do you think about PS5? I already answered that. I hope you and Tammy have a good day. Thank you. Good morning from Houston. Uh, good morning, Derek. I hope you guys are all doing good. Um, I got Facebook and YouTube. I'm going to go back to YouTube. It's misogynistic. Ah, you're using words I don't know. I, I don't I don't recall. Uh, explain why Europe getting involved. Explain why Europe getting involved in this. I don't know. I, I can't explain anything going on. I can't believe anything I read. I can't rely on anything sticking around. Uh, that's why. That what's the movie they were editing? They edited something out of Back to the Future, and the movie studio told them to put it back. I guess. Wait. The people who wrote the movie told them to put it back. I don't remember. But, I mean, they're, they're being nitpicky. Let movies, you know what? That's like removing the Twin Towers out of Home Alone 2. Every time I watch Home Alone 2, they removed President Trump from Home Alone 2. I think, wow, good thing I got it on DVD already. Uh, will you be going back to California to do videos? Uh, we, Tammy's been wanting to go back, and uh, I haven't. I think we'll be okay after a couple of years. But if I do go back to California, I'll let you all know because I'll meet all the old guys again. I'll film with them, and we'll do some, you know, burger wars, taco wars, pizza wars again. 
I keep in touch with all the guys. I think we'll be okay after a couple of years of Christian McCaffrey has a lot of old school running back in him. Uh, I think now that, you know, now that Christian McCaffrey is probably the hottest player on your team, I think he'll grow. I think a lot of Patriot players will grow because Tom Brady's gone. I think, I think too much was on Tom Brady every year. It just, it was just crazy. So now that the superstars are gone, I always believe that. Like I've watched teams that they didn't have a superstar, but they all worked together and won the finals. Uh, you eat hummus, Jack. I love hummus. Uh, I believe hummus is garbanzo beans smashed, flavored, like seasoned and flavored, but, you know, with a little bit of olive oil in the center, um, roasted red peppers, garlic. I love hummus. Um, so it's smashed garb garbanzo beans is what it is. Uh, an experiment where you try making it with tahini and without would make a good video. Uh, is tahini one of the spices? I'm, I'm kind of... And I don't know how to make hummus. I love Middle Eastern flavors and food and everything. I have the VHS of Home Alone too. Hold on to it. It's going to be valuable. You have the Donald Trump version. So anyway, good morning, Jack, from Syracuse, New York. Here's my, here's my question. Donald Trump, this is a great question. Donald Trump was getting paid to be in that movie. Every copy that sold, everything. Um, every time it aired, you get paid by... SAG or after, or depending on what union you belong to, as an actor. So my question is, by removing him, does he not get paid now? Can he sue for millions? Or, I mean, what can he do? I, I would love to know. Uh, Jack from Syracuse, New York. God bless New York. I hope you guys are holding strong out there. Love your channel. Tried some of your recipes. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. A white guy is upset about Trump was removed from Home Alone 2. Yeah, let's see. Black guy editing my movies. Yeah, I was. Yeah, a little, a little bothered. It doesn't have to do with Trump. It has to do with you don't have the right to do that. Who gives them permission to change history like that? Who gives, you know, I, I don't know who's pulling the strings. I could guess, but I mean, it's all political. But it's like, at what point do we stop? Like the color purple. Oh, no, don't touch that. Really? There's a racist man in the color purple, I'm sure of it, because it tells the story of how it came to be. Roots, are we going to get rid of that movie? Are we never going to show it again? You know, so I'm, I'm against both sides. Don't, don't touch anything. Just from this point on, if you don't want to write a story like that, don't write a story like that. If you don't want Donald Trump in your movie, don't hire him and pay him to be in your movie. Uh, anyone who watched Battlestar Galactica, uh, Cyclones had it right. This has all happened before and will happen again. Um, you know what? The more I think about it, what was his name? Oh, Thanos. I, I'm wearing my, my Marvel t-shirt here so you can see it. It's got all the superheroes and it spells bring me Thanos. But anyway, um, so my question is this. You guys ever think Thanos might have been right? Snapping your fingers and removing half of the world? Hell, it might be a better place. I don't know. I kind of, hmm. No, I'm just, I'm not thinking I'm doing that. Don't worry about that. Uh, my mom grew up an old school Dallas fan. She's back to pulling for them. Now she was a Tom Brady fan for a long time. I'll have to help her out and pull for the Cowboys. Yes. So anyway, um, yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting to watch Tom Brady. And I really, it, it, it's sad that, they have to lean, leave the team like Emmett Smith went to the Cardinals, okay, after the Cowboys. Um, Joe Montana went to the Red, I mean, the um, Chiefs. I, I hate to see that because I will never stop thinking of that person as a 49er, that person as a Dallas Cowboy. What Dallas did was they hired back right before Emmett Smith retired. They hired him for a day, like for a dollar. They signed him back to the team. So he could retire at Cowboys, from what I heard. I thought that was pretty good. Can you move your right arm yet? Yeah, I can. Um, there's no reason to move it right now. But uh, but like when I'm holding onto the ball, you'll see me um, in one of my Disney videos uh, hold the ball and mix and stuff. Uh, what is the male version of Karen? There, there is no male version. I mean, I've been a Karen 
I've complained about stuff and I shouldn't have. And so I'm not saying that I'm perfect. Uh, watch latest project Veritas video. Okay. Um, but I, there isn't a male version of Karen. It's like, you guys remember Pat? Do you remember the term Pat? Pat was uh, that it didn't have a gender. It was, it was a guy's name and a girl's name. So they used the name Pat. It was a Saturday Night Live skit. And anyway, so we've gone through all these things before. Um, let's see. Uh, Jim Crow, first time heard that was Sons of Anarchy and could not figure who they were talking about. No, no. I'm missing that. I didn't, I don't know who Jim Crow uh, is any, isn't, uh, let's see, not calling you out, just asking. Not a Michael Moore fan. I think he's very, he leans um, a lot. I, I don't like people who lean too much in either direction. Uh, my name is Karen, but I'm not a Karen. I have a lot. I've just never been a complainer, but I've stuttered. I'm only reason the name Karen, I'm guessing that somebody named Karen started this whole thing. She was whining and complaining on TV. I don't know. Maybe she's on The Bachelorette. Maybe she was on, uh, you know, The Amazing Race. Probably, I don't know where it started. Maybe you guys know. Let me know. What's your opinion on Kay's cooking? I don't know who Kay is. Uh, it, probably a YouTuber. I don't watch YouTube cooking shows. I purposely don't, so I don't get ideas off them and copy them. I come up, everything, if somebody else, like I did those sirloin burgers, remember? And like five other shows did sir, sirloin burgers and brown gravy and mushrooms. I had no idea. So what about the 80s? Got any opinion of the 80s? Honestly, it was the best. It was the best and last good music genre. <laughs> you know, after 2000, we don't have genres anymore. We had old-time rock and roll 50s and 60s. We had disco 70s. We had new wave 80s. We had grunge rock um, 90s. And then after 2000, it all went away. There's no distinction between 2000 and and 2010s and past 2020, we don't have generational music anymore. It's all the same. I don't know where rock went. You really got to dig deep to find some good rock. Uh, uh, it's so unfair, Karen. Where do we go to complain? Oh, try having the name Jack. You have no idea what can be done with that name. People use my name in vain all the time. So anyway, yeah, the 80s big hair. Uh, I want a garden tower. Yes, that is uh, is a great device. I love my garden tower. Have a good day, Jack. Blessings to you and your family. Going up. Thanks for talking football. Absolutely, guys. Jack, you should do a sous vide brisket. Takes like thirty six hours and comes out so moist. You could. Are you serious? I I'm gonna have to do it. I've I've been challenged. There it is. Oh man, that's got to be great. So here's my question, JD. Did you? Did you uh, sear it afterwards on a cast iron or on a, on a flat iron or something? Because I'm going to need a crust on that. So I got to give it some outside. My, my team listens to the 70s music. Yeah. Go disco. All right. From Slang Dictionary. Oh, it came. Have you ever smoked beef clod? Is that like beef hoof? I don't know what Claude is. Uh, yes, yeah, Seer Doctor. Thank you, JD. You guys are awesome. Let me see how Facebook's doing. Um, let's see. Jeff, you're right. Getting rid of history makes it easier to repeat. That's my biggest beef. It's not like I want to celebrate any bad stuff we did. It's not like I want to. I just don't want to forget. We'll forget. So what, uh, what does Karen mean? Karen is a mocking slang term. For an entitled, obnoxious, middle-aged white woman, especially uh, as featured in memes. Yeah, but a guy can be a Karen. <laughs> I mean, I have no problem going, dude, don't be a Karen. Are you serious? Has nothing to do with you, anybody named Karen. It has to do with the actions that you're portraying. Um, it's, you know, I mean, people are like, wow, man, that's jacked. Has nothing to do with jacks. I mean, they've used, they've cursed with my name. They've nursery around with my name. I mean, I, my name's been slaughtered so many times, you have no idea. Uh, let's see here. 
We need to know our history and show up. Amen. Good job, uh, Digital Soldier 17. Uh, it's off the shoulder, kind of like a large brisket. Uh, what's off the dead man? Oh, have you ever smoked? Oh, beef club. No, I don't. I don't. I've never seen that sold. So I don't know. But uh, I have to say, there's no tri-tip in Tennessee. It's a special, like, West Coast cut. Did you know that? Jack, you made a video with your brother years ago when you said, history doesn't matter. Don't pretend to care about history now, especially when you are so obviously ignorant. Okay, good. Let's put you in the boys' club. Congratulations. Tell everybody to say hi. All right, anyway. So, um, um, but yeah, I don't, I've never seen a Claude for sale. Uh, but basically... I'll be looking for it. Uh, I can't get tri-tip out here. I have to specially order it because tri-tips like California. I mean, it's like West Coast. So it may be Arizona, maybe Nevada. I don't know. Maybe Washington, but it's not here in the South. It's not a cut of meat. You have to cut the meat a special way to call it tri-tip. So I have not been able to uh, find tri-tip. All right, guys. So let me see. What am I doing today? Okay. First of all, I want to encourage you to go see today's Lazy Man video. It went up. It's Lazy Man, Nashville Hot Chicken. We're going to be doing some, I've uh, been talking to Tammy. We're going to go do Hot Chicken Wars. Um, so far, the, the reigning champ, I'm going to put together a playlist of all my Hot Chicken videos, and then we're going to go to more places. We're trying to beat the reigning champ. The reigning champ for my Hot Chicken is Hattie B's. World famous. They got three locations. They have three locations, honey. How many Hattie B's are there? Oh, there's two. The one by Gigi's Cupcakes, is that the best one? Well, I can't tell them the wrong one. Oh, there's three, but what's the best one? Is that Midtown? The one that's closest to the 40 highway is the best. I don't know how. I don't know which one. Let me pull it up. Hold on. I can't give you the wrong information. It's killing me. You guys go to the wrong Hattie B's. Hold on. Hang on. I'll tell you which one. How come Hattie B's isn't showing up? You were there when I added it into my phone book. No, I'm not. Anyway, I will find out which location is the best and let you know next week, I promise. They're all good, but there's one that you don't have to wait as long, it's easier to get your food. It's not a touristy place. Yeah, like Jack's Barbecue out here is amazing. Uh, the best one's on Trinity Lane. Because if you go to the one down, don't go to anything downtown. You'll wait two hours unnecessarily. No, the one on Trinity Lane, you walk right in and you eat right away. That's what I'm trying to save you guys from. Uh, I saw the video, I actually want to try it. Uh, pho chicken, I love, got it. Frank, Franklin Road, is that the best one? Uh, right game is that the is that the best Hattie B's? Let's see. For wearing Jack, I use a handheld propane broiler. I oh okay for searing. I'm guessing uh, bought for seventy five dollars on Amazon. Only hot chicken in Pittsburgh is KFC. Yeah, don't worry about it. I do have a Hattie B's. Watch the video today. There's a link in that video. It'll pop open to say uh, it'll say how to make hot chicken. Uh, that's the Hattie B recipe in that video that pops open. One of the cards that just come open in my video today for searing, not wearing. Gotcha, JD. Thank you. So you kind of torched it. Okay. I only eat fa me. My family can't tell. This is so sad that we're still having to go through this. This is 2066 and, our, I mean, 2020, I'm sure. And our parents were going through this in the 50s a few times since I've been born. Yeah, history repeats itself, guys. So we've got to keep this stuff remembered. But anyway, I'm not going to go into that again. You guys are awesome. Um, so go check out my video right now. I've got a video coming up. For those of you who don't have a smoker, I am doing, I, I, just, I just decided, how to do lazy man smoking. How can you smoke without a smoker? We're going to show you the lazy man version, okay? called Lazy Man Smoking. Be looking for that. I have another video, How to Smoke Indoors. Yes. How do you smoke your meat indoors? That's a great video. 
I'm so excited. I love barbecue season. So um, let's see, Jack, are you going to restock your barbecue sauce? Um, yeah, the manufacturing has been tough with all the situation going on in the world. So we don't have times or dates yet. Liquid smoke, no King Lord. It's not liquid smoke, but uh, it's, it's even better. So anyway, guys, eat well, and I will see you next Saturday on the live show. Uh, if you have any questions, just write me. You know I'm always here for you. Um, and I think that's it. Now I've got to go run some errands with the wife. You know how that is. I love her, though. She's awesome. She keeps me in line. All right. You guys take care. Have a good day.